So we're onto the CloudTrail cheat sheet and let's get to it. So CloudTrail logs calls between AWS services. When you see the keywords such as governance, compliance, auto operational auditing, and risk auditing, uh, it's a high chance they're talking about CloudTrail. When you need to know who to blame, think CloudTrail. CloudTrail by default logs events data for the past 90 days via event history. To track beyond 90 days, you need to create a a trail to ensure logs have not been tampered with. You need to turn on log file validation option. Uh, CloudTrail logs can be encrypted using KMS. CloudTrail can be set to log across all AWS accounts in an organization and all regions in an account. CloudTrail logs can be streamed to CloudWatch logs. Uh, trails are outputted to S3 buckets that you specify. CloudTrail logs uh, come in two kinds. We have a management events and data events. Management events log management operations. So, you know, attach role policy. Data events log data operations for resources. And there's only really two candidates here, S3 and Lambda. So think get object, delete object, put, put object. Data events are disabled by default when creating a trail. Trail log, um, uh, trail logs in S3 and can be analyzed using Athena. I'm gonna have to reword that one, um, but yeah, that is your cheat sheet.